Hello, y'all. Welcome to Life Happens by the Mile, and this is Michaela, your favorite mother trucker. I'm sitting here in Fontana, California, waiting to get loaded. Oh, yay. And anyway, it's been one of those weeks. Oh, wow, y'all. The other day, I was going down the highway, and it was one of them two laners up in the mountains, and um, I nearly had a head on collision. I was driving along and there's this long line of trucks and cars coming from that way and then I, of course a long line with ours going this way but there was a pretty big gap between me and um, the first truck had some car jumps out and then tears down towards me and there's a cliff. I'm not going over the cliff and I'm, I have to hit the brakes and, and I go up on as close to the edge as I can, this little car zips between me and the other truck who's moved over and he barely makes it. Barely makes it. Because my trailer was still coming over to catch up to me and he just barely squoves through. I'll tell you, it was terrifying. So anyway, we got finally got that load we had delivered and then um, we were asked to do a favor load because we dropped our load early and sometimes you're going to need to do these what they call favor loads, little local loads that pay next to nothing. But I got to drop my load two days early and in Fontana, California and someone else got to drop their load a couple days early and I had to grab their load and take it and deliver it last night but Oh, I was pissed as a wet hen when I got there because they turned around and we get there and the load was a day late. And they charged me $278 for a $73 load. But of course, Prime's reimbursing me for it. But I was just pissed. And I was like, really? Because on my deal, it said the load wasn't due until that night or I could have brought that load early. So anyway, we deliver it, then we go park, and then uh, my dispatcher gets me a load this morning. It's uh, And it's already late by the time I get the dispatch. And so we're here picking it up in Fontana, and it's going to Nevada. And it's going, it's only a couple hundred miles. And it's for 700 and something dollars. It delivers at 1600. And then we're gonna have, you know, and just for, that just, that pays for my day and my fuel for the day. And so we're picking up another load today that's going to take off and it's gonna be a real good load that my dispatcher's doing for me. So sometimes you take these little loads to get to the big load and you're like, well, why can't I just go from big load to big load? It just doesn't work like that. If you, you need to set up a good relationship with sales and your dispatcher and the reason is is like I said, I could be sitting on that one load, I'd still be sitting on it. Instead of doing this load, which makes me another $700 in 200 and something miles, and just, and I get another load today. Hell, I'd do two of those loads today. And in one day, I would have made 1400 bucks in one day. So, you know, you can't just scoff at every load, but you do gotta look, okay, it's seven hundred dollars. How long is it going to take me to deliver this load? Mine is like picking up at seven and delivering at sixteen hundred. But you know, is it being late? I, but I'll still be able to get it there in time. So at sixteen hundred, that's perfect. But it's like if it's picking up today and delivering tomorrow at sixteen hundred, that dog don't hunt. That's a bad load. So you got to look at your time and your miles and how much they're paying. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take this load, and then I'll, like I said, Mary will have me another load, and I'll tell you one thing, I'm going to shower, is what I want. But I'm just a little bit wore out, but boy, it is beautiful here in California, y'all. I mean, just gorgeous. We're just surrounded by mountains, and if you ought to be sitting waiting to do a load, why not be somewhere beautiful? You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing I love about this job. You get out, you go places, you see cool things. It's awesome. You're traveling, you're having a good time. Every once in a while, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad. But 
for the most part, I really enjoyed this. But I am looking forward to setting up everything on my Arizona property. And I'm also planning to buy some property up in Alaska before too long, probably in the next year or so. Um, but I'm just enjoying life. I'm hoping like heck Prime brings back their lease purchase program because otherwise I won't be able to stay at Prime and that just breaks my heart because I love being a trainer and I love Prime. So anyway guys, I'll talk to y'all later but hey, um, go ahead and take a look at David H's channel if you already haven't. He has a real, real awesome channel. Check out Miss Longhaul Gypsy. She's doing a lot of great things. She's also a TNT instructor now. She has her student with her, Allie. So uh, give them a check. Um, also check out uh, Colorado Trucker. He's also now a TNT instructor and he's doing good. Um, you could also go check out No Hippie. Lyle is awesome as always. Can't say enough good about him. Um, but anyway, until next time, treat each other with kindness and respect and practice inclusion instead of exclusion because you never know who you might meet and you never know if you might like them. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to be slipping in this door right here.